All right, welcome to the range is hot. I just want to do a quick little video, kind of show you uh, show you this game and everything here. So I want to get a couple things out of the way real fast. This game is in development, so this isn't a finished product yet. Uh, developers are still actively working on things. Uh, secondly, I did receive this game for free uh, in exchange for giving feedback, suggestions, working out bugs, things like that. Uh, number three, I am playing on a Quest 2 headset, and I'm using the virtual desktop to connect to the Steam VR. That'll become important here in a little bit, and I'll talk more about it uh, whenever we get to that. All right, so when you come in, you come to this screen here. Uh, this guy will read over here. Your controls are in front of you, showing your mapping, movement, all that fun stuff. And then out here, we see the array of targets we have in the game. Uh, all right, here's our three guns we have. The pistol is always on your belt, which hopefully you can see uh, on your belt over here. You got your shotgun reloads, pistol reloads, rifle reloads, AR, pistol, shotgun. The AR... Anytime you pick up a gun, you'll see a round count here, and then a little uh, red S for safety. You can see as we hit the safety, on off. Uh, this one just has a, an adjustable scope on it, which, let's see here. Um, kind of get a good sight picture here. We can see if we aim here. If we aim at this guy, we can kind of see everything there. So you can actually come up and zoom out there. So now we're closer to like, a, we'll shoot one, a little bit of parallax. Dial that back in, and then resume back in again. Uh, nice little feature there. When you shoot, let's see if I can catch it here. Your rounds actually eject spent, and you even have burnt casings. If you grab and work the action manually, you can see our rounds are still have the bullets on them. Nice little feature. Uh, you can eject the magazine. When you fire, the bolt will actually stay open. Load your mag, and then you can either hit the slide release button. To do it, or you can actually slap the side of the gun and get it to go in, which is a nice little feature. Um, right now, the stock does not collapse on it. Oops, whoops. Uh, I don't think you can do anything with your forward assist, nor should you need to. Uh, recoil on these guns right now is pretty minimal. You can see it's kind of a little bit of a laser beam. For me, it doesn't matter because my aiming sucks, so the recoil being non-existent doesn't really affect me because I still can't hit what I aim for. All right, so that's the AR. Your pistol, nice little Glock. Uh, one thing people have been complaining about is it does have a safety on it. Obviously, that's not true to form, but pretty minor detail. Let's shoot this guy here. Um, I do not shoot these in real life, so I actually don't know the best way to shoot them. Same thing, you can work the slide manually. Um, as you shoot, casing comes out spent with nice little scorch marks on it. Drop the magazine, load the magazine. Oops, sorry. Slow gun, all right. Shotgun, nine round tube. Got glow sights on the front of it there. These are popper targets. Poppers have been the bane of my existence. Continue to be the bane of my existence. Oh, sorry, getting a little bit of lag on my... Not that that changed the outcome of that, but a little bit of lag so you can't see me miss as clearly as I normally do. A little target. Um, clays are real nice. Explodey. Technical term. You have your barrels to drop the guns in as you go. Uh, so let's go ahead and just jump at it. Um, I want to show you two courses real fast. Uh, so there are three different bays. There's the long alley, there's a double bay, and there's a shoot house. Um, and then there's also a skeet course. Each of these right now have three plus the skeet course in the long alley uh, that you can run through. And you can see I've done them all. Not great times, as you can see right there. When you load into the stage, though, you'll see this sign here. Walk the course, hit the button, start button, everything. Uh, so you can come up. You can see when you get to each little stand, you'll see here's our section. Here's our targets. Look out and you see your targets. You can actually go ahead and shoot them. Um, and then whenever you're ready to go, you just hit the start button and it'll reset the course. And if you look down, you see each section has, well, we just run down here. Each section will talk about it. 
shotgun it'll tell you so if you have a popper it'll tell you in here which becomes important in one of the rounds because there's poppers hidden in with the regular knockdown targets um, let's say we've ran all the way down here and we don't feel like walking back you can just return to start all right so let's give it a run see if we can beat our time make ready stand by the gun's highlighted you have telekinesis you can pick it up you can also just grab the the grip oh man not doing great good news is this is the only rifle bay in this one so we can just unload everything and not have to reload goodness all right don't think we're beating our top time here shotgun i've been having picking up guns has been a little finicky for me um, it's one of my complaints uh, and then also your forward hand grabbing i tend not to let go because i've had a couple times i haven't been able to actually get the forward hand to re-grab very easily oh, i forgot to jump the john off all right definitely not making it this time boys gosh all right so since this one's a wash I kind of want to show you a couple of the other things real fast there is multiple penalties here obviously let's just miss that target if we drop the gun we'll get a grounding penalty if we step out we get a penalty there at the end all that's added up still got a 142 uh, so you'll see your last fire time here, and then it'll add up your penalties, and then over here it'll actually tell you your penalties. Uh, so 20 seconds for grounding, 5 seconds for foot, 2 and a half seconds for missing a target. Um, so that's a nice little detail on it. So this, uh, this one's pretty simple, long, and you just come up the side shorts here. I want to show you my personal favorite is the shoot house. Uh, so I want to take a second to talk about a couple little things here. Uh, like I said, I play on the Quest 2. Right now I'm connecting through Virtual Desktop. Whenever you use Virtual Desktop, uh, there's no issue with shooting. So if I want to mag dump as fast as I can, I can do that no problem. Uh, whenever you use the Oculus Link and you start shooting, you'll actually have a bunch of hiccups on it. Um, so it'll be... Fire, fire, and then you'll click, and you won't get a gunshot. So fire, fire, pause, fire, pause, fire, fire, pause, fire, pause, which is super annoying whenever you're doing, especially like the shoot house here. Uh, that does not have a virtual desktop. Developers are aware, and they're looking into it. All right, so without further ado, Make ready. let's go ahead and slap this Stand course. By. Oh, no. I have the hardest time shooting and reloading and moving in this. And these aren't scored, so it's not a huge deal if you're not hitting all A's. Of course, speed can make up for an accuracy in uh, real life in USPSA, so why not in this one too? Oop, speaking of an accuracy. Alright, this one on the right's a popper. There we go. See, there's a little bit of a problem grabbing it there. God, that was so Hit. bad. Hit. Hit. Sorry, middle target. That was not super efficient, was it? Hit. Oh my gosh, not great. Range is clear. That is my best time, though. Single hit on paper outside center ring. Huh. All right. So I'm improving. Prior to that, I think I was 150 or something. So that's actually a pretty good run for me. 
Uh, I will go ahead and admit there's a guy in the Discord that did in like 120, and I've been trying, sweating to get down to that, and obviously this is the best I've done, so I'm not even close to him, so good job to him. Uh, so just to finish, kind of, let's just go look at the double bay. I'll just kind of walk in and shoot and talk a little bit about kind of my thoughts and everything. So, so far this game's been pretty fun. Oh, and one other thing I'm doing right now. The green feet, if you get off these green feet, you can have a bunch of collisions with the course, so you can't really move. Right now, you can't really move too much off of it, which is great if you're doing stationary play, right? But if you're like me and you like to move around and run into the walls, um, it's a little bothersome. So, gameplay on it, I love it. It's fun. I love the concept. Um, like I said, coming from a competitive shooting background, this is a game... My God, I'm terrible. This is a game that I really enjoy. Uh, things I would like to see personally, I would like to see a career mode in it. So you actually come in and you have, you know, whatever you start off like at a local club shooting competitions. As you win, you go up to the prize table and you get better guns, better optics. You have modification, gun modification system. Um... Uh, so, you know, start off with, you know, maybe just an old crappy pump action shotgun or something. And then you progress to something a little more competition oriented through winning, doing better, getting better times and whatnot. Uh, that's what I would like to see. I know some other people just don't really care about that, but my personal opinion. Give you a little more skin in the game. I think it'd keep you coming back, obviously. Um, aside from that, something that I want to see that is planned is a course level editor. Uh, with ammo prices being what they are and scarcity and whatnot, I know there's no nothing will take away from live fire, but being able to set up and run your courses in virtual reality, I think, would be a nice little help for me at least, and hopefully help me improve my game a little bit. Um, aside from that, just working out some of the bugs. The pickup bug for me is really annoying. Um, I know they're working on the feet thing as well that I talked about a second ago. They're aware of the Oculus Link issue. Uh, they're aware of some other issues with some of the other platforms, and they're working on it. So they're doing a good job with it. Uh, it's a really interactive staff um, on the Discord, and I think they've got a hell of a game here, and I think it's only going to get better. So I would definitely check it out. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually purchase it now um, or if you can get it just at the pre-alpha, but if you like competition shooting, you like VR games, I would highly recommend checking it out. Uh, it's just fun. I think you're going to get a real nice competitive community centered around it. People posting their runs and their scores and then seeing if other people can beat them. Like I said, I've been trying to beat that other guy in the Discord all morning and haven't even came close yet. So uh, it's something to give you a little drive to do better, you know. So it's a fun game. I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, it's called The Range is Hot. Um, give it a look-see. Thanks for watching.